so kwa lazima ufahamu kwamba kwenye kwenye swala zima la, la, la kupata entry breakout na pullback mm. ni maneno ambayo utayatumia tu most muda mwingi utayatumia sawa sawa mfano kama hapa so une, tunaweza tukarudia tuka haya maelezo kwamba uh, ni maeneo ambayo pia big sharks wanayatumia sana kwa mfano kama hapa you could see ilikuwa ni zone si ndio candles zimetoka chini yeah. bullish candles alafu baada ya hapa kuna mtu aliona kitu kama hiki yani ilivyokuwa inatengenezwa hii hii ni behind the scene yani suna ni ila, ila kama ungekuwa unaishuhudia hii kendo kuna muda ungeona kendo kama hii that means kendo iliyoshiba kama hii japokuwa ingekuwa nyekundu sawa so, na baadaye so, those guys wakaja waka push chini to, the, to some levels mpaka huku that's why unakuja kukaona unakiona hicho kikendo kidogo hicho tumeelewa So, wao kuna mtu angeona kabisa kendo kubwa kama hii angekurupuka kabai. That's why kwenye zone lazima uwe very frame. careful. Na hapa ndo kendo ya time frame. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. ndo concept ya time frame kwa maana ya kuangalia kwamba at least Skuski nadhani nadhani network yako kidogo inashida. Unanipata? Hapo nakusikia. Yaani kwa nasema kwamba kwa maelezo unayoyatoa hapo mm. ndo concept pia ya time frame inakuwa considered kwa sababu kama it is within 5 minutes unaweza kukurupuka ukabadai ka change yeah, yeah. ukajikuta ya yeah. Ya yeah, kwa sababu time frame dogo nilikwambia zina a lot of noise kwa hiyo zinakuwa zinakupa information fake informations nyingi. Kwa hata fake breakout kwenye hizo yeah. time frames ndogo zipo. Sawa, so, kwa mfano yeah. Fibo na Chambo tumetoka kuiongelea sasa hivi. Uh, Fibo na Chili Trustman na extension zote zile ni nzuri sana ukitumia kwenye time frame ya 4 hours na 1 hour. Support yeah. na resistance ni vizuri sana kuzichora kwenye 4 uh, hours na daily huko saa so, one hour pia tumeelewa so hiyo hizo zone um, support na resistance ni kwamba huwa azwi manipul yani ni tofauti na trend lines trend lines ukichora kwenye h4 ukaja ukaiangalia kwenye one hour unakuta imeshajichanganya so, tumeelewa tofauti na zone okay. na zote yeah hizo support resistance pride man okay kwa hiyo kama hapa maana yake this doge uh, inge confirm kwamba we have to sell ndio so Greystone Doge ndio ini Greystone ndio so yeah so unaweza kaelewa sasa kwa hiyo kama hapa maana yake wewe because hii kitu imetokea kwenye resistance mm-hmm. what you are expecting the sell entry the sell yeah. so this could keep uh, this could go down okay unaweza kutumia so. uh, yeah tumeelewana mpaka hapo eh ya yeah, hapo tumeelewana. Safi tunaenda kwenye successive uh, uh, breakout. Sawa, so, hii ni breakout unakuta kweli imevunja. Sawa, so, nimekuambia moja yeah. kitu ambacho tunaweza yeah. tukakitumia. Let's take an example. Uh, you have this kind of Ngoja leo tutumie chini, tutumie support, okay? Yeah. So a uh, una price imetoka maeneo yake huko juu sawa so, that means so. it is a downtrend so nikuja hivi sawa so, so imekuwa ikifanya hii behavior na ina behavior hii ukaona imefanya hivi si ndio hii inaweza karudi ndani and therefore ili kuwa na ili ku confirm moja ya confirm, co- co- confirmation ya 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 breakout ni kuona retesting. So kama hapa maana yake tasubiri uone kitu kama hiki. Sawa? So, then the price yeah. itakuja itatembea. Itatembea. Itavunja hapa. So you can sell after retesting. Okay. Unaelewa? Sawa. So, Lakini sio kukurupuka yeah. tumeona breakout moja kwa moja. Lazima usubiri hiki kitu lazima usubiri ili testing okay lazima so, usubiri ili testing no we testing no trade 
Okay. Okay. So a uh, breakout ambayo ina obey market structure inakuwa nzuri zaidi. Sawa. So, so uh, are we testing unakuta kuna market structure kama hii hapa. Let me let me draw. Na no, unakuta labda nitumie wage to following wage kama hii. Okay. Mm. So price maybe imetoka huku. Imekuja ikaingia huku. Sawa. So, Mm. Okay. Okay, sorry. This was not supposed to be there. Okay. So it na subili ivunje. Sa. So, mm. Mara nyingi ukiangalia mara nyingi unakuwa kuna kizoni fulani hapa ya maeneo. Tunaona kuna kizoni tutakutana okay. nacho most of time. Lakini unaweza pia ukatumia yeah, yeah. Fibonacci kaina shida tukutana na so tukuta kizoni kama hiki so mosti unaweza kushangaa inarudi kulitest kama haya maeneo hivi then inaendelea juu so unaweza kuona hii imeobey the same max structure ambayo iko hivi hivi collection alafu kitu kikaenda so mosti nilikwambia max structures mosti ni correction kwa hiyo yenyewe ndio zinakuaga humu ambacho kwa hapa ndio hiki kitu Menelea. So that is it. Ni kitu ambacho unatakiwa ukijue. Okay? Yeah. So breakout ambayo inakuwa na obey market structures inakuwa the best especially after retesting. Start so, this. Yeah. Yeah, kwa kwa hiyo nini hii inakuwa bora zaidi kusubiria tu kama ile ambayo tumeiona. Hii inakuwa inakuwa bora zaidi kwa sababu inakuwa ina still isha obey max structure still umeona the testing unakuwa tayari umeconfirm exactly what you are doing okay yeah uh, i think tunaweza tukaendelea na our online class kama una swali unaweza ukauliza ah uh, kwa hapo sija sijaweza kufanana kwa hiyo tunaweza tukaendelea tunaweza tukaendelea ya hiki kipande nilikuwa na kile code nikiweke YouTube ikicha breakout tu. So unaweza pia ukakikuta ukakikuta YouTube hiki kipande cha breakout tu peke yake. Okay. Okay. Uh, good night nadhani tutaendelea kesho na webinar hii. Okay, good night to you. Okay.